what's up guys welcome back to the channel thanks for checking out another video as you guys already know or if you didn't know my car is a 2015 and yeah guys the car is due for registration this month and i'm gonna be needing a smog so i have to put the car back to stock all right guys so the car is on boot mode right now so I'm gonna go ahead into boot mode. Make sure my AC is off. My headlight is off as well. This is actually normal. Whenever you flash the car, it does this. So I wouldn't worry about it. Damn, this is actually taking a lot longer than it usually take to flash the car. I hope I didn't fucked up because I didn't connect a battery charger. Fingers crossed. Alright guys, it's actually starting to go faster. Man, it's gonna be weird driving the car stock. I haven't driven the car in stock form for probably maybe the last two years. So yeah, that's gonna be weird. 73%. Let's go. Took three minutes and 14 seconds. Done. So the car should be back to stock. All right, guys. So usually what I like to do is um turn the car off and let it completely go to sleep, and then before I restart it. All right, guys. Here we go. Cold start on a uh, stock F80. Sixteen millimeters. Remember, guys, this is just for testing purposes. I will be installing the the stock down pipes when I take the car in for 
When I take the car in to get it smug. guys so the o2 sensor as you guys can see they are caught up match with the plug so there's no way you can get this any wrong now that I took care of the o2 sensors now I just have to put some mods on the car check my monitor and I'm gonna take it in and see what happened Three days later. guys it's been a couple of days jumping back into this video finally all my monitors are ready and good to go let me show you guys right now I just got off work and I'm gonna go ahead and swing over to the sh to the smog shop as you guys can see all my monitors are ready and um I did about 126 miles and um, the O2 sensor was the hardest to ready. And I drove the car about 100 miles and the O2 sensor still wasn't ready. So the only way I could get the O2 sensor to be ready was I had to do the BMW driving circle. So I had to drive the car between 40 and 60 for 15 minutes, which is a lot harder than you really think it is. Because um, I live in um, SoCal with a lot of traffic, it's really hard to find a spot to drive for 15 minutes between 40 and 60. But anything less than 15 minutes did not work. And yeah guys, so if you're having problem with your O2 sensor getting ready, make sure you do that. Don't go below 40 miles and don't go above 60 for exactly 15 minutes or more and that did the trick for me guys so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and swing to the smog shop like i said fingers crossed let's see what happened all right guys so i just got home all the smog shop that i went to fill the car just based on the visual of the aftermarket cat even though with the spacers i was able to get the o2 sensor to um set and it's ready but i feel the the visual with the aftermarket cat so yeah guys the original cat is gonna be going back on like if you want to see the installation of these i already did a video i'm gonna leave the link on the top so yeah guys back on with the original cat and we're gonna go for round two all right guys i'm almost done installing the stock cat as you guys can see, it's already worth it. It's a personal opinion. Too bad 
this is California, so you have to do this every two years if you wanted to modify your car and you want to run um, catalyst downpipe. Luckily for me, it's just um, two and a half hours every two years, which is not bad. Um, yeah, guys, almost done. All right, guys, the stock cat is back in. Man, I think I might be too late already. I already wanted to get this done today because it's supposed to be raining the rest of the week. So I might have to take the car tomorrow. Let's see. All right, guys, so I was able to make it to the spark shop right before the close. And yeah, we go, guys. Obviously, I did pass. And um, they were already big on the uh, visual inspection. And um, they did plug in the OBD2 and check everything. So yeah, guys, this is what it takes to drive a modified car in um, California. If you want to swap out your calculator converter or uh, down pipes every two years for me personally I think it's worth it like I said it only takes like two hours out of my day and um, for every two years it's not that bad but if you have to pay out of the pocket it might not be worth it for you but I don't mind so thanks for watching don't forget to smash that like if you like this video I'll catch you guys in the next one peace